Right guys, welcome back to the video. So, as you can tell by the title, today we'll be showing you how to get level 100, tier 100, anything like that. So, you want to battle pass, uh, max it out, and uh, just get leveled up really quickly. So, I'm going to go over a few tips and tricks how to do that, and how to just uh, make sure you get all the levels and the XP that you need from each game, and just a uh, way to max it out. So, I've um, got a few tricks and tips how to do that. I've got some gameplay in the background, uh, duos, but yeah, actually, uh, my friend actually dies quickly. So, uh, yeah, sort of like a solo duo. Uh, yeah, so in the background we've got that, and I'm going to be going over a few tricks on how to get uh, leveled up quickly. So some of my experiences, and in no way I'm trying to say I'm like decent at the game. I'm just uh, just saying what like from my experience how to get leveled up quickly and uh, the best ways. So I'm going to start off quickly by going into uh, probably the main tip. It's going to be actually playing with a friend or in a squad. You definitely need to do that. Um, it sounds weird, but if you don't have any friends, there's, uh, obviously uh, just add anyone you find in a random squad because there's, uh, most of you know this video has been recorded uh, before uh, season five has actually been out, so I'm guessing it's tier 100 and I'm guessing it's 100 levels again and stuff like that. But if you want to max out the, basically just to max out and get as much much levels as you can. But yeah, uh, like I was saying. If you didn't realise, uh, when you go through the battle pass, levelling up and uh, tearing up the battle pass, you actually earn um, a little bit of XP boost. So, in season four, and I think it was the same with season three and two, you've actually got to get to 120% uh, personal XP boost. So, 120% uh, of your XP is uh, like the boosted, and then 40% friends. So, if you think about it, if you're playing uh, with four friends, four times uh, 40 is actually 160 so that's a pretty good amount of XP and if you're playing in duos it's just, just obviously yourself and the, uh, the other 40 from your mates so duos or squads they are the best modes you want to be playing to get the most amount of XP um, you, like I said you can just add, um, add uh, any random person and uh, hopefully he, he needs uh, to play with squads as well uh, that's another way you can do it if you don't have any friends on Xbox maybe they're on PlayStation or you don't have any friends on uh, PlayStation maybe they're on an Xbox or PC anything like that if, or if you just don't uh, sounds a bit harsh but if you don't have any friends completely fine just add up anyone on your uh, account then play with them and just get their XP boost that's uh, probably the main way I'd say because if you're playing with friends obviously you're gonna uh, get their XP boost and level up quicker so that's probably uh, point number one I'm not really doing it in any order apart from that one because I think that is a pretty important one just to get those XP boosts from someone else I think it means, uh, means a lot to get all those, so you want to be doing that. Another point I'd like to mention is probably uh, to um, go for placement. A lot of you probably think, oh, I want to get 20 kills every game uh, and like just get as many kills as I can, many kills or every game uh, every day. Like that's not that's not wrong. I wouldn't say that's wrong. It's risky, which is wrong. Risky isn't uh, isn't the way to play. I'd say this is personally. I'd say um, you want to play it safe. Like in this gameplay, I, I was going a bit a bit reckless because I, I I said to my friend, "Oh, usually we quit if we um if if the first one dies." But I said, oh, let me just uh, I'll, I'll rush into tilted, so um maybe I'll die, maybe I'll get a few kills, and I ended up getting a few kills, so I stayed in this one. But usually you want to play safe. So when I say go for placements, what I mean is when you place uh the further down you place, so say you come first, you get more XP than if you come a hundredth. And that makes sense, but a lot of people will be playing for kills, and when you play for kills, you play less uh, like risky, so no, uh, more risky, so you're more likely to die. So what you want to do is actually uh, maybe land somewhere else. That's another point, actually. Landing is key. If you land somewhere like Tilted, if you're a good player, fair enough, and you can 100% wipe out Tilted, then do it. Definitely land there, because you'll get more kills. And obviously, I'm not saying more kills isn't bad, because uh, my other point was like trying to get you to... Um, Play for placements, but placements plus more kills is better. But placements on its own is better than more kills and a low placement. If that makes any sense to you, hope it does. I'm trying to explain it best I can. And I keep on looking down here because uh, it's the gameplay and, and it's just something to look at here you know, looking at a camera. But um, yeah, like I was saying, go for placements and not kills, but both if you can. So somewhere like Tilted is a good place to land if you can uh, consistently get loads of kills and stay alive. Staying alive, like I said, the uh, main point. But then, uh, if you can't, like personally, I can't land tilted and, and uh, definitely uh, get their kills and uh, stay alive every game. So, 
what I'd say to you is go to places not named. Now, when I say not named, obviously that's uh, places without the like Tilted Towers, Retail Row, um, Shifty Shafts. Uh, Shifty actually isn't a bad one to land. It's uh, quite uh, quiet. Greasy Grove can be quite busy. Salty Springs is the busiest place for how many houses? There's only like, what, one, two, three, four, five houses, I think. And um, there's about ten people. Most games. Depends where the bus is. Check your bus. That's another point. This is a bit unorganised. My first like sort of video doing it, doing it this way, like where I talk over gameplay. I uh, yeah, I'm just testing it out. But these are a few tips. Um, yeah. So where you're landing, I like to land the new factories is what I call them because we used to have the old factories where Dusty Divot is taken out. Uh, but they were very good. They were in the middle of action, so you could definitely stay alive. But then uh, they got taken away. So new factories, what I call them, uh, where the disco ball is now, not the Loot Lake one, the one in. Uh, uh, down the south of the map, uh, south of uh, Shifty Shafts, that is an amazing place to land. And a even after that, which will probably stay alive, there is a few people, but uh, it's a lot less than somewhere like Tilted or Retail. So definitely not there. Uh, that's a great place to land. And once you've landed there, probably um, go like uh, the chair underneath. No, uh, actually, I think it's about uh, north northwest is the chair. It's a pretty good place to land. And um yeah, once you've done that that little route, then you can go on to shift and no one's uh, no one's gonna be there anymore. Can we just appreciate that? I think you would have seen that snipe by now. I'm not sure how simple that this is, but it was an awesome headshot snipe. Yeah, no, 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 no. yeah so um go to that go to shifty after that, there's no one there, and then tilted if it's still in the circle. If it's not in the circle, obviously don't do this, but don't wanna be running in circle. But it's just like clearing up places, usually um there'll be a lot of loot lying around tilted and stuff, so Mainly the landing is a is a great place to start if you if you're like clueless and how to how to stay alive It's the landed so uh, maybe say the bus is going straight across the middle of the map uh, Choose the the corners maybe so moisty moisty is a quiet one most of the time unless it's chess there uh, Lonely Lodge is a quiet named place There's not many quiet names place at Lonely Lodge is uh, goes in the name actually um, probably there I'm Trying to think now uh, the top of the map by Risky Reels, there's a few houses, they're great to land at, I used to land there a lot. Uh, if you're on your own, uh, then it's solos, it's easy to do this, but like I said, you want to play with uh, squads or duos, because um, like you'll get uh, more XP. But with squads or duos, uh, you probably want to land in a name location, because there's more loot. But that means it's going to be tough for you to stay alive. So you do want to actually uh, try and, it's, it's that balance between staying alive and actually uh, getting kills and uh, getting loot for your team and stuff like that and just getting a win is obviously the most important so if there's any tip I could give you is getting the win definitely 100% get that win uh, play it safe if you have to uh, like I said earlier about uh, how in this game I was like a little bit rushy like uh, those people were coming at me and I tried sniping one I shouldn't be doing that really but it's just because I uh, was was on my own and I wanted to do it but you sort of want to play play your game safe. If you see someone and they're far away, you don't have a sniper. They do. Don't challenge it. Stuff like that. You want to make smart plays. I'm not saying I always make the smart play. Like this game half the time wasn't a smart play. But um, just try and try and think. Double think everything. So say uh, someone's got an AR. You've just landed. You haven't got an AR. Don't challenge them. Or if they haven't got a shotgun uh, and you have a shotgun and you're close up, challenge them. Stuff like that. You just wanna um, make sure you're like always, always making the right option because making the wrong option in Fortnite, you've only got one life. If it's squads, you've got one life, and then the knock, uh, you wanna be careful because obviously that knock, you can uh, you start going down health, and uh, if your teammate's struggling to get you, it's gonna be tough. And I'll show you another bad play here. The guy's behind the door, and I tried placing a trap. The man was so lucky that uh, he was the other side, but it was also lucky. That I didn't get shot straight away because he he shot me through the door. But if he shot me around like this side of the door where I am now, he could have uh, actually uh, killed me there with a headshot. So that was like a stupid play. So don't just like think about what you're doing. If I if I uh, if you know what I mean, like uh, just make sure every play you do is the right play if you can. Obviously, if you're in a like quick one v one situation. You've got to make uh, quick decisions, but if you can, make the right decision, and it'll always work out, and you'll get further. So what I'm trying to say, it all leads on to getting that placement. Right now I'm 14th. If you want to um, get more XP, it's more about like uh, going down the... If, if you know um, on squads, I'm not sure about squads and duos, but I know the 
solo one off by heart. It's uh, t uh, first place. They count at your first place, your tenth places, and your uh, top twenty fives, top ten, and top twenty five, not your tenth place. But they count then. So each one of them in that bracket is more XP as you go down. So if you think about it, the, the win is the most XP. Top ten is the second most, and top twenty five is the third most. So that's the so for solos. I can't. I think it might be like top. It might be the same in uh, squads. But I think it might be top 6 and top 12 in squads. I'm not sure about duos. could be the same in duos. I'm not sure. But those little increments are actually um, more XP as you go down. So if you're looking to max up your battle pass, it's uh, you want to get an uh, annual tier level. Sorry, um, your level, not your tier. You want to be getting uh, those uh, like increments every time if you can. So the lower down. So maybe aim for top, if you're in squads, top 6 every time. If you think about it, 6 times 4 is 24, so you want to be, uh, if you can get to 24 people, you're definitely in top 6 because uh, there's often like squads that are on their own. Actually, no, you're not definitely because there could be squads on their own, sorry. But you want to get to, maybe aim for top uh, top 6 every time. I'm not sure how many people it would be, depending on if, because not everyone's in a full squad and stuff like that. But you just want to just aim for, obviously you're always aiming for your lowest you can, uh, lowest rank you can, but... Uh, just want to be trying your hardest to make those smart plays, smart decisions. Just make sure that like you're trying your best to make these decisions. Some of this sounds obvious, but you do when you watch. Obviously, I record my gameplay, so I do YouTube videos on them. Uh, I record them, and I'm, sometimes I'm watching back and thinking, "What am I doing? Like, I could have done something else there. Like, right now, I I could have finished shot, shooting that down, but I didn't. He's on top of me. Luckily, I shot that down, and he was just a little bit weak, so I got that. But, like. I could have taken it back a bit. I didn't even have to challenge that guy if I didn't want to. But I had the high ground and I decided to. I messed it up a bit, but I eventually got the kill. He took a lot of health off me. So it was a little bit of a stupid play. But you always want to, like, if you can, if you have an Elgato, you don't do YouTube anymore, but you used to ha maybe maybe do it. Record your gameplay. That is a very uh, good way to do it. And um, watch other people's videos. Like, uh, I obviously watch um, YouTubers like Ninja, Scissors. Uh, Nicky, a uh, lot, lot of YouTubers I watch. I just watch them and um, they uh, obviously give out tips and stuff. And just watching them alone just gives you um, like insight how to play the game better. Obviously, they're pros. Phase, Scissors, and Ninja is just amazing. Nick is a pro Fortnite player, not for a team or anything, but is the uh, Friday uh, Fortnite um, tournament, stuff like that. Just want to make sure you're doing the best you can to stay alive mainly and there's also one more uh, thing which is very obvious is uh, do all your challenges if you can log on onto Fortnite every day or load up not log on you don't really log on but load up Fortnite every day and do your challenges then that is key challenges are like uh, it's like the main thing you've got to be doing these challenges because obviously challenges get you battle stars and battle uh, battle tiers and stuff like that you just want to do every single one and there's also a lot of people don't know if you click um, the left stick for xbox i'm not sure about pc or i'm not sure about playstation could be the same for playstation the left stick if you click it in on the challenge that you're selected on it actually uh, requests an abandon so if you can abandon that uh, say it was um three sniper like rifle eliminations and you don't like sniping like uh, i use a sniper quite a lot so that'd be fine uh, for me but uh, say i uh, say i wasn't a sniper i didn't like sniping then um you could like change uh, that challenge by abandoning it. You get one a day. So say you've got a daily challenge, you need to do it quickly. Uh, maybe it could be could be top six in squads. That's a, a frequent one. Top th uh, three games of top twelve is a frequent one. And say you've got no friends online right now. Like I said, you could add people, but say you need to do it quickly, like three games. You might not be able to do that, and and you've got twenty minutes to go, so you need to do it quickly. So abandoning quests is a quick way to get uh, a new challenge. Sometimes it's an SMG kill, so that could be done in one game, or one elimination could be done in one game, obviously. So abandoning quests is a good way to do your challenges quickly. So you want to log on every day, do your daily challenges, and every Thursday is when the week come out. I'm guessing it's going to be the same for uh, Season 5, but you want to be uh, logging on, do your daily, and then Thursdays, do your weekly. If you can do them in Thursday or over the week, you don't even have to do them uh, in... Uh, on the Thursday, you can do them any day. Obviously, you could wait until the last day and do every single one from all the weeks. I'm guessing it's going to be week ten. Uh, well, it's going to be ten challenges uh, for season five as well. Ten weekly challenges, sorry. And then do the. If say you're struggling, uh, maybe this one was uh, one of the ones this uh, week was. Um, I think it was uh, find rubber duckies in like ten. 
and stuff like that, you've got to look out for them. So if you don't say you didn't search on YouTube, because a lot of people search on YouTube how to do it. It's very popular how to do challenges. I've done a few uh, videos on challenges if you want to check them out. If you haven't done any. But um, yeah, like I was saying, rubber duckies is a pretty hard challenge to do. So um, when people uh, are like trying to do all the challenges, they're thinking, oh, that's going to take me ages to so move on. But uh, that is a decent... If you want to get through all the challenges, I'd say do the easy ones first and then do stuff like rubber duckies, spray over carbide posters, uh, dance in front of... Um, film uh, cameras stuff like that this is all season four because like i said season five hasn't come out yet but do those ones easy easy ones first and then hop onto youtube and uh, i think goblin is a uh, youtuber i watch he has he does every challenge literally every week a big fault he's another youtuber growing a lot now he's on like 700k and he does um a lot of uh, weekly chat well he does every day every weekly challenges and shows you how to do them sums them up shows you every location of everything literally and the hidden battle star at the end if season five do that again a hidden battle star is going to be amazing because if you I think if you add it up it's one from each week so that's 10 and then the blockbuster one i'm not sure if they're doing something like that for season five but the blockbuster was an extra one every week so that was uh 17 yeah 7 and 10 17 uh, i don't know why i had to do that but uh yeah, 17 free stars every, uh, well, uh, over the whole, uh, like, battle, battle, um, battles, what they call, battle bus, no, uh, battle pass, battle pass, um, over the whole thing, it was 17 free stars from just going to a single location, because it's ten, uh, 10 in the weekly challenges, and then, uh, 7 from the block bus, I'm not saying they're doing it again, but, yeah, basically, you want to do every challenge, do all your weeklies, every day uh, place highly um, play in squads or duos for the friend xp boost and play it safe don't always rush people if you see someone far away you don't have a sniper don't challenge them if you don't have an ar from mid range don't challenge them if you don't have a shotgun up close don't challenge them so uh yeah i'm gonna leave this uh, gameplay on it's about uh maybe two minutes left uh, you can see if we win or not, well just me, because uh, uh, obviously my friend died, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there, if any of this actually helped you, and uh, uh, like, uh, helped you level up for season 5, it's coming out uh, very shortly, it could be out already by the time I upload this, I'm not sure, but if it does, get ready, and uh, tier up, do all the uh, things I said, and you should be getting those max tiers very quickly, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're not already, peace.